So, what do you mean by child sexual abuse? What do I think it means? Yeah. Um, I guess any unwanted sexual touching or um, not necessarily even touching. I, would, I could say it could even be ways that you speak to children or what you expose children to that would be of a sexual nature that's inappropriate. So you think that sexual harassment can happen without touch also? Yes. How? Well, it's it's hard to talk about children in that context, but you got to think that I think sexual harassment happens in the workplace all the time for women, especially uh, because men are often in a position of power over them. So there is sometimes a dominant dynamic. Maybe men say inappropriate things to women. I know for a fact it goes on. Yeah. Um, there's no touching involved, but the way that people are treated, treated objectively. Uh, treated in demeaning ways, inappropriate comments, uh, maybe exposing them, you know, showing them inappropriate things online or or even discussions. I think um, sexual harassment can happen in many ways that is not touching. Yeah. Touching, I would I would argue is is probably the worst combination of all of that. Yeah. But um, you know, there's a lot of other things. So you think that. Uh, transsexual abuse happens to males also? Yes. How? Like, I think that 50% of the people, they think that it don't happen to males. I don't think so. Um, because I know um, a friend of mine's father was sexually abused by a Boy Scout leader when he was a boy. And his father told us that when we were kids. And to be careful with people. So I've known from a very young age that it can happen to boys. Okay. Um, and that's just personal experience. But even if I didn't have that experience, and I'm not naive enough to, to say that, um, you know, I think child sexual abuse is, is uh, some kind of sickness. <laughs> and I don't think it is necessarily rooted in sexual preference at all times. Yeah. You know, um, just because someone's going to abuse a child, maybe it is a male or a female, maybe there is a preference. You know, maybe they like boys, maybe they like girls. I mean, history, if you look at history, yeah. criminals, um, serial killers, boys and girls are victims. Yeah, um, for sure. Maybe the majority of victims are women. Seems to be the majority of victims in most sexual harassment cases yeah. are women. Um, but, I mean, I'm no expert on statistics. But, okay. yeah, it can happen to boys for sure. Yeah. And who does sexual abuse? In Predators. People who are predatory in nature. I would think it's probably men and women. We think of mostly men. Um, the majority probably are men because uh, when you hear about it, you know, the majority of rapists are men, the majority of murderers are men, the majority of all bad people are men, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah. but they, there are, once in a while, you hear a news report, um, for instance, of a, a female school teacher. Okay. Who has an, uh, an inappropriate sexual conduct with an underage male? You know, that's yeah. sexual abuse. So, it goes on. Yeah. Yeah. So it had. Where sexual abuse comes from, knowns or unknowns or both. 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 The, the, there have been people in my life who have come forward and told me that they have been sexually abused, and every single one of those people has known the person. Yeah, so like fifty percent of them are known. Is that the the number? See, yeah. I don't really know the number. Unknown, I could see, especially in this day and age. You know, my my oldest daughter's in grade six, and she has a cell phone. Oh yeah. So you know, we didn't buy her a data plan, and we monitor what she's doing on Wi-Fi. But if we didn't do that, who knows who is she would connect with online? Yeah. Total strangers. There's predators everywhere. So there's plenty of unknown people, but there's plenty of known people. Known people. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much.